everyone and welcome to the Wet Shave Cave. Not for a shave of the day video, but for a mail call unboxing video. I decided to do another unboxing video um, for today. And um, as you can see, setting is a bit different. I'm visiting family here in Bloemfontein and my cousin was so kind to lend me his room. As you can see, the shave, Wet Shave Cave logo there on the screen very nice idea from him um, right let's get to the unboxing now the the parcel for today is from Bundu Beard um, here in South Africa um, excited to see what's in this small little package so let's dive right into this got my tools let's see just be careful so I hope you guys uh, are doing well, that you are safe, and you are getting some epic, epic shaves in. Um, I don't know if you caught last week's um, shave of the day and unboxing video. If you haven't, go take a look. And um, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Drop me a like to show your support. And uh, you can just look at the description below for information about the channel, what's happening. Um, exciting announcement also to make i have a wordpress website that's fully functional now and i'll blog it's a blogging website so i'll blog maybe let's say once a month i'll do something special in a blog about that so that's exciting so go check it out so the wet shave cave dot wordpress.com let me just get this parcel open Okay, it's quite tight, tightly wrapped. Put that aside. There we go. And now I can open this. Just make sure. Okay. Now the moment of truth. Let's see what we have here. We have paper. We put there. Okay. This is a sample soap or soap from Yaku. Um, the labeling still needs to be on. Oh, wow. Um, Yaku described to me the scent of the soap. It's a type of a... Um, Eastern um, uh, oud scent. Oh, very nice, interesting scent. Very manly, manly scent. Um, it's going to be in his new range of soaps. Um, it, it's a tallow and I can't remember what else. A tallow honeybush, tallow and honeybush um, base. So it's not a glycerin base as some of his other soaps. I'm very excited to try this. He took a video when he made a lather and he put the shaving brush into the bowl and he lifted the bowl up with the shaving brush and it didn't fall that's how strong that lather is so i'm super excited to try that probably going to use that in next week's video shaving video but there are two other items in this parcel which i'm very very excited about let's start with this one let me see is it this one yes it's this one you guys can guess what this is. This is a razor. Let's see what razor we have over here. It's definitely going to be a vintage Gillette razor. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's in very good condition. It's a Gillette blue tip. I finally got my hands on a Gillette blue tip. So I'm super, super happy. Wow, just look at that still in pristine condition ah oh, now for those who don't know the gillette blue tip is part of the super speed trio i have the gillette flare tip and the gillette red tip now this is the bottom one the mild 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 razor um, of the three so it starts at uh 
uh, the blue tip, then you get the flare tip, which is medium aggressiveness, then you get the red tip, which is the most aggressive razor of the three. So now, now I finally have the Super Speed Trio. Super excited um, for this. Just look at that razor. It's in mint condition. Really, really happy with this. Excited to shave with it. And then the one I've been searching for quite, quite a while. Um, very happy um, to get this razor. Maybe have a sneak peek over there. What is it? Wanna guess? Let's see, let's see. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Very interesting actually. But there we go. This is a Gillette Milord. 1941 Gillette me Lord um, if it weren't gold plated it would have been a, a Gillette Ranger Tech but the gold plated uh, version of the Ranger Tech is called the Milord and very interesting look at the top cap it looks like it's a has a chrome finish so I think the previous owner replated this uh, in a chrome finish but look at that it's very 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 nice and there you can see the handle bit of uh, plate loss over there um, I keep looking at that side but the camera is there so apologies for that um, this is really really nice razor look at the inside it's beautiful gold plated um, now you can see it's missing its end caps well it was made this way um, this one was made in 1941. If you can see the serial number inside there. I don't know if you can see. Let me try and zoom. No, it doesn't look like if the camera picks it up. But the serial number or the, the pat, pat number. I see. can't see where it is now. This is at the bottom. Can't see it now. But this one was made in 1941. It was for the Christmas um, edition special, what you want to call it. And very interesting about this, they stopped the production um, because of the Pearl Harbor attack on the 7th of December. So they stopped the production of these razors. So interesting to have a 1941 razor um, that was made in the year of the Pearl Harbor attack. I actually get chills thinking about it. Um, and yes, it's made in the US, obviously. Um, you can see there, the bottom. Made in the US. Um, like I sometimes say in my videos, when shaving with vintage Gillette razors, is I like to think back who might have had this razor? Who bought this razor when it first came out? Maybe it was someone very important. You don't know. Maybe you're holding one of the previous United States of uh, America's presidents razors or maybe Hitler or, or whoever, some famous guy in the past. And what this razor hasn't seen in its lifetime. If they only could talk, the stories they could tell, it would be fantastic to hear that. So lovely piece of history um, here in my hands. Uh, the Gillette Me Lord, a fantastic, fantastic razor I've heard. And now I finally have it in my hands. So I'm excited to try this razor out, take it for a spin and see what it does. Um, very, very nice to finally have a Gillette me lord so that's that thank you so much again for for this yaku i appreciate appreciate it um and yes that's my unboxing my mail call unboxing for today and that's all um i'm going to make a shaving video for next week sunday so stay tuned thank you for watching i hope you have a fantastic week so see you guys next week for a shave of the day video 
See you guys. Bye-bye.